everybody knows what values are in Roblox. If we come up here and type in value, look at all the values that store different stuff like C-frames, colors, numbers, and everything like that. We have tons and tons of values we can use in Roblox. But there's also something called attributes. If we spawn in a part and go down to the properties, we have something called attributes, and this can basically do the same thing as values, but it's actually stored in the properties of the object, and we have the same types and gives it a name for our attributes. So the main question is, which one is really better, and which one should you guys be using in your game? Well, in my opinion, it is a pretty clear answer. Starting off strongly, Roblox even says in their announcements for attributes a few years ago that in terms of performance, attributes take up less memory, attributes are 18 times faster than values, and attributes are uh, 240 times faster to delete. I know already it's very fast to delete certain items, but I guess attributes are even faster in that sense. Mind you, that is from Roblox themselves, but there's also some other factors we can uh, tie into it. So there is a post made on the dev forum that basically helps us to evaluate which one we should be using. I'm be using screenshots from the post to help us figure this out. So I've already went over the waste of memory, data update rate, and speed of removal that he has uh, to basically see which one's better. And there's also the data update method of updating values. I would, I would, um, you know, say that attributes are a little bit harder to update and get but whatnot but that's just how i guess how it is how roblox wanted it or how it works um there's still all those other benefits and he also says unity if the attribute does not depend on a specific element then it may not be easy to constantly request it again i i kind of agree with that a little bit harder to get attributes than just getting the values from a value data type getting data I, he says it's a bonus for attributes but you know that's his opinion i guess maybe number of options you know there's a lot of options you can make with attributes errors uh attributes return nil if the value does not exist that is a very good benefit there's also interaction studio which i don't know maybe you could say they're kind of equal in this sense i feel like they're about the same of setting up you know the names the different values but uh, there's also future support, which I totally agree with what he says here of attributes are better uh, because there is going to be more future support for attributes because this is a newer feature than just basic values. Replication, the attribute is replicated immediately, which is fantastic in, in big projects and games. And there's also sorting, which sorting could get a little bit more complicated with values. You can have folders, uh, attributes, I don't think you can do that or... It's not really much of an organizing method with those. This is kind of the list that he has that we can look at. Uh, can, can be useful in deciding, but he says that attributes will be better than values. You guys can make your own opinions on that. I'm just uh, showing you guys some of the stuff that this guy put in this form. So we're actually going to get into the main stuff about value, values and attributes. And basically, if we want a certain value, let's say we want a c frame value well i'll type in c frame value there it is there's not much configuration to it you put in your values uh for your c frame you can put in your name so like i don't know object c frame or something and well there's our value we can use it and whatever whatnot if we were to use attributes well we wouldn't have just a singular uh you know actual instance we would have to tag an attribute onto another object which could be a folder or there's also something called configurations that you can add attributes to which would be useful I guess that ties into the organizing method now that I'm thinking about it so you can organize attributes if you're using configurations um, so actually getting values from object values and attributes it's a little bit more uh, complex I'm going to insert a script here and let's say well let me first get our object c frame that is in the replicated sword so game replicated sword object c frame i'm pretty sure you guys can see this right now all right so we have configuration where we are going to store our attributes so game that replicated sword configuration 
as far as getting values from these two objects, object C frame is very self-explanatory. And just like that for any other value, all you say is object C frame, which is the actual object dot value. It's, it's literally that simple. You know, it's just getting the value and the value is equal to whatever it is equal to. So it would return us the value we have here, which is the position value and the orientation value. Very simple. But as I said in that form, attributes get a little bit harder. But before we actually get to that, we actually have to make an attribute. So I'm going to go to my configuration, go to our attributes. I'm going to create the same thing like a C frame value. I'm going to call it uh, uh, C frame. I guess C frame 2. I guess we're just going to say C frame 2. So we have our C frame value down there, and we can then go back to our script and get it. Now, it's more complex with attributes. All right, so to get an attribute, we would have to say configuration get attributes and then put in our attribute name, which would be C frame 2. If we were to set an attribute, then it would be configuration set attribute with the uh, attribute name, which would be again C frame 2 and our C frame value, which would be like C frame dot new or whatever, whatever, right? And there's a whole bunch of other stuff with attribute stuff. We set attribute, there's get attribute change signal, get all the attributes and basically stuff like that. So let's compare these two. Setting or maybe just getting a value from a regular value instance. Well, that'll just be like value, we go to object, object C frame dot value. If I'm getting it for an attribute, that'd be um, local attribute uh, would be equal to configuration get attribute, and that would just be uh, C frame two. So there's a little bit more work tied into it. I'm not actually 100% sure what the point of these getting attribute uh, signals and added on stuff to it. I actually uh, don't know the reason for that, but you know. It's a little bit harder for attributes, but in the end of it, I think attributes are still a little bit more positive. You know, it still has them that future support, uh, faster memory stuff. And let's talk about like setting values. Well, that would be just be like object C frame dot value will be go to zero. If you were to change it to zero for an attribute, well, that would be configuration set attribute C frame two and then zero. Again, a little bit more work, but you know still still works and still has all those benefits that the attributes have okay so roblox actually gives us some reasons for not being able to access value to the index operator and they say that they considered it and they understand that it might seem convenient but for the reasons of compatibility and mutability uh, they did not do this so for compatibility it says we could add a new property with the same name as an attribute this would break your code which depends on the attribute to also pretty makes sense and the other one for mutable data structures we would like to track changes to them for example assume vector 3 allow you to change its individual components and should the following code update the attribute should the update happen twice so they do have some uh, reasons for not being able to just get it directly which I understand and you know it's little bit less convenience using them but it's still for a good reason so are values or attributes better well that is up to you guys to decide in my opinion I think attributes are a better uh, thing to go with because of the future support and also of the more optimizations for performance they have the only reason why I would really choose values is maybe for the ease of use but Again, those are for some good reasons, and I would still go with attributes, in my opinion, but that is totally up to you guys and what you use for your games. And yeah, guys, this was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.